So I'm doing a video on my recent purchase of Yorkville uh, speakers and power amp. I got two YX215s uh, putting out uh, 600 watts apiece. And then I have two monitors over here with, uh, and they are YX12s putting out 200 watts apiece. Uh, the Yorkville M810 uh, putting out uh, 400 watts a side, um, which is really nice as well. I uh, used it last night and really great, um, powerful power amp. Um, so let's just get started with hooking it up. What you're going to do is your A side is going to be your mains and the B side here is going to be your monitors. So on the back you have the same options here. We're running quarter inch line. Um, I got two 50 foot, uh, or got a 50 foot quarter inch line for each uh, speaker. You can uh, daisy chain these so if you only had one, if you had more speakers, more mains, you could run um, you know from the board into here and then run another one out of this side because what it does when you plug in on one side it automatically turns your other side to an output so we're running in here from our mixer uh, powered mixer and we can run out here to another main uh, speaker now the board is putting out 400 watts a side these uh, YX215s are uh, rated for 600 watts a piece so we're pretty good with that we're not gonna have to worry about overloading these uh, speakers at all and the other speaker so there's our two mains and then we did the same over here our two monitors quarter inch quarter inch I run um, XLR mic from channel one and we're just going to show you how to um, run your monitor mix and uh, your channels A and B. So um, right here we have this knob at the bottom you can see it says it's a trim knob and you want to adjust that until you see your green light um, come on uh, when you're speaking in your mic or whatever you're running through that channel and you don't want to have it so it's clipping up here your red light so what we're going to do now is we're going to test that I already did so so I have everything turned off I have my monitors and you can see the green light shining that's what we want and we'll see in a little bit of clip there so I'm going to turn it down turn it down just a little bit so we have our green light and we're not clipping so that's where we want to have that set just our monitors but before we do that we come right over here and you can see this is channel your channel A and your channel B and there's this button right in the middle and you want to have that button pushed in so it differentiates between your monitors and your mains so channel A is going to run through your mains and channel B is going to be your monitors our green knob is what's adjusting our monitors and here's our master our main master and our monitors master control how much you want in your monitors before you turn on your mains you can have all that set so you go through and you adjust all your monitors the way that whoever's performing wants them and then you can go and you can turn off your master and you can go ahead and do the exact same thing with your mains and your mains is the white knob right above your trim knob and you're going to want to turn that about halfway up and you go through the exact same process and one other thing that's really cool is you can run a piano or a guitar straight into your board here, channels 5 and 6, um, without using a DI box or anything. So it makes it nice and easy. DJing or something where you need to plug in um, your iPod, your computer, your phone, whatever. Um, this is kind of uh, the easiest way to show you. Simple cord here going to 1 8 and have it plugged into my iPhone here and there's two options two ways you can do it you can run it into your tape in which is your left and right here and you can do that and it works great the only thing is you're only running through your mains so you're not gonna get your monitor so if you're getting if you're doing something where someone's singing a soundtrack and they need to hear the music up on stage um, you're gonna not want to do this it's great if all you're doing is um, music and you don't have to worry about people on stage or anything like that you can do that 
but the way that I have it is you I have two connectors here you can buy cords that are just this you don't need to have uh, connectors but it just makes it easy I can use one cord for both and I run it into channel 9 and 10 I had the best luck with this and you can control it monitor mixes so I'm just gonna start music here there we go and so we can go right here and we can control our mains turn our mains completely off and we can go up here to our monitor mix and we can control how much goes in each line each one has an effects it's the blue one and there's lots of effects on here um, reverb um, all different kinds of reverb here it's really nice to give you a full sound uh, and that's as simple as your monitor reverb or monitor main here if you want to run so much in your mains or how much in your monitors and it's really simple this board's really easy to use I recommend it to anyone appreciate you guys for watching have a good day